Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 4350 in Candy Crush Saga. If you find these videos helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing so I can continue bringing them to you. So here we've got 24 moves to clear out 89 jelly, collect 12 chocolate, we've got a lot more than 12 on the board, and 42 ticking time bombs. We don't have 42, I think but we do have dispensers. So we have to break through things, although how are we gonna repopulate this area? It looks like I really don't have any choice at this point in time. I had one move, I made it, and I gotta reshuffle. This isn't populating, but it looks like this is. I need to create an opportunity to bridge these areas if I can. Hopefully before the chocolate just goes crazy all over here. I can't move that over. Looks like this is the only move I have. So on these boards where we don't have any choices, it, it requires a lot of luck. Now here I do have a choice. I can do this or I can do this. I'm gonna go for the one that opens this up more. Doesn't help much. Yikes. And of course the time bombs, I've got 17 moves and 13 on the bombs. So that's a bit of a problem here. This is a good move, and this is a good move, and this is a good move. So now I've breached this area here. That's important. Uh, sure, I'll go ahead and take that and get rid of some of those bad things. But how do I reach over? There we go. This is not handy here. Okay, we're getting there. So now we've made this entry into this area, but I still have, I think, way too many time bombs to dissolve in the next turn. So that shows us what the problem is. We need to focus on time bombs right away, but as we've seen, that's gonna be contingent upon luck. We just need to hope that we can get things done more quickly. Now, because we have so few options when we're set to make moves, we have to examine each and every option we do have and make sure if we're given a choice that we make the right one. So I'm gonna pause the recording, come back with a new board. I'll have the microphone turned off until I have something important to share. This is listed as a hard level, so it, you know, it can present a challenge and we just have to hope we get luck early and then capitalize on that luck by making the best plays. See you in just a bit. Okay, so one of the keys is to be able to get rid of all of the threats of the dangerous ticking time bombs with enough turns left over to actually attack all of these areas we need to attack. And I am saturated in purple, and I've got a color bomb purple stripe combo. So hopefully we'll be able to get this opened up, especially this top area. It's not a sure thing, but whether or not I'm able to accomplish it this time, I'm going to use this as instructive because it shows how difficult this last portion is. 
I think I can get a striped wrapped combo. That's another really handy thing to have on this board. Notice though that it grew to double thick. Double thick is the thickest it can get now because we've knocked it down to that. How can I use this almost immediately? I can't. So these are gonna be able to continue growing to double thick. Oh, there we go. We got rid of that chocolate. So those three chocolate are what's left. I wanna make some sort of special or combo. I can't. So I'm just gonna hit here and die. Oh well, unless cascading really takes over. But we got close, we got super close, and so we know now we are on the right path. This is the method we have to take. We just have to be very careful with that luck we get. So I'll be disappearing again for a bit, but I'll come back hopefully with a win soon. So this is a good opportunity because all of the dangerous time bombs will be gone. Plus, it's going to open this up, take off layers here. But once I get an entrance into here, things will be better. And of course, it's going to remove a layer everywhere else too, including these candy curls, which help to divide the board. So now we have better opportunities to make specials and combos. I can make a stripe here, and it's not a bad choice but I'm actually going to just set things off because I'm hoping that as things fall into place, they will make their own fun. That's what I was hoping. Didn't quite work out that way. So I'll go ahead and make this stripe, even though it's not the very best, it does still help here. Oh, I wanted that as a combo. It would be nice to reach all of the corners of the board. I'm not gonna be able to use this either, but it will take out a color and concentrate things down. So I have some hope for that. Oh, look at this. So I think this is what we need. Oh, did not get to use it as a combo, but look at this. We've just got two blocks of jelly left, and we've got a lot of things happening now. And four moves left. Okay, I'm going to make a color bomb. Even if it just removes a color, that'll be good. I can take out purple, I can take out blue, I can take out green. Purple automatically helps here. It does not help over here. Is there anything I can set up? Well, I can make another color bomb. So now I think what I'll do is I'll take out all orange from the board. And then if I need to, I'll take out all purple from the board. Got it solved. Uh, but I'm on a different file than I was when I started this way, way long ago when I was just a youngin. That's how it feels anyway, because it took me over 50 tries. Yuck. It took between 50 and 60 tries to get this done. I am not pleased, but I'm finished. So there's some recompense. Now I will tell you that a lot of it depends on that beginning. Once you get things open, then keep trying to make an assault toward that very top chocolate. Clear that out as best you can. And then even if that happens, you do have to work on all of the little nooks and crannies where that jelly remains. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.